It's Vach Lombardi. We back like bra straps. Y'all read the title of the video. Let's run it for the cardio. Look, uh, Carry On Johnson kind of embodies this slow to it, blow through it campaign that I've been trying to push for the last two years or so. And I'm actually going to do some player comparisons this uh, this video. But um, I think it's always safe for people to say Le'Veon Bell when, it's, when talking about Carry On Johnson in a way that Le'Veon Bell kind of set the standard for patient running backs that it's just easy to compare to him. I think Carry On takes that patience or whatever, but he's a different back in every other way. Um, at some point, we're going to take patience away from, from Carry On and he'll be his own player comparison. Uh, we'll cross that road whenever we get there. Um, but if you take a look at, at how he's using his vision, how he's using his patience, then you see that burst on the back end, that nasty little drop my head, get those physical yards, get those fall forward yards, those tough, nasty ones right there. You see that? But you see that burst on the end of it? That's Carry On Johnson. Um, but like he's not finesse at all, right? He, he's he's vision guy. Uh, he's vision guy. He's patient guy. But he's also power balancey dude. And that's really where I got to separate him from Le'Veon. Because, you know, Le'Veon goes out, line up at receiver. He goes to shake people, make people miss and things like that. Uh, Carrion has some wiggle, sure. But he is... Uh, speed strip ass whoop guy more so gangster run through you I dare you to tackle me guy you know what I mean and that's what's that's where the comparison kind of separates a little bit for me um so I'll cover comparison after I get through, you know, pretty much talking through carry on. But I think he has the tools to be productive NFL back. Now, he wasn't first round pick uh, because, you know, you 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 kind of grade running backs on skill level. You know, carry on can run block and catch but Saquon also can do those things as well just as Saquon does a lot of those things better than than carry on you know carry on is not super fast guy carry on doesn't have the 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 great Saquon build uh he can't line up at receiver uh but he does those three things he is a complete back in my opinion um but I think as as long as you got vision, you got patience, you got balance, uh, you got power, I think you could be a starting running back in the National Football League, even a bell cow, if, if you will say so. Uh, let's keep watching, though. But he's not a power back, though. He is physical, run strong, he got. Uh, but he does have a little wiggle to him. He can make these cuts. They're not super great cuts. Like that'll be the the third guy that we that we um you know touch on today. But uh, he can make guys miss. But like I said, man, that balance. Look at this right here. Just just being able to run through tackles. I think that's his biggest. Uh, mm, one of his uh his biggest positives there. The fact that he can run through through contact. Contact and he's definitely going to need that on the next level. He's not just tripping over grass and field lines here. He's actually running through people. Uh, pretty pretty solid as a blocker. Uh, not the best in the world, but uh, he he knows his assignment and he's and he's not afraid. What I really like about him as a blocker is that he gets the heck out the quarterback's way. He steps way up in the pocket. I try to tell tell uh, not tell running backs, but in my film session. Um, I always talk about running backs getting out of the, out of the quarterback's lap. This is what I mean. Be proactive. Meet that guy halfway so your quarterback has a little more room to where if you do get pushed back, you ain't just all up in your quarterback's lap. So he is a a, a smart blocker. He does have that side of the game, and he does uh, block the right guy that he's supposed to. Uh, now, Shaquem Griffin is a gangster children. Let's not forget that. Uh, so he does have a little have a little trouble blocking, but he's not gonna quit on Shaquem. He's gonna plan his feet and he's gonna keep running and he's gonna get old Shaq out the play, giving Jared Stidham an opportunity to step forward. So uh salute to carry on on his blocking ability. So if I had to give this guy a comparison, it'll be a combination of traits uh, between Kareem Hunt and Le'Veon, right? Like he's not super athlete guy. Uh, he can move, he can run, but his biggest, his biggest, you know, traits, his biggest attributes, big strengths uh, is his power, balance, vision, and patience. And that'll be a combination of like Kareem Hunt and Le'Veon Bell kind of sort. It's not just one back carry on Johnson is. Like I said, in in the future, carry on will be his own player. What the hell is that? Carry on will be his own player comparison at some point. Uh, but these are the two guys that if I can pull a fusion dance off, you would get uh carry on Johnson. Uh, minus all the lineup at X and route running type of stuff. Let's move on to the next guy.
Sony PlayStation Michelle Obama. Another thing people, another player, rather, people have mis- misconceptions about. Um, he pretty much built this reputation, um, you know, his uh, his second and third campaign of being this uh, this 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 pass catcher. Uh, and that's fine. That's fine. But people often associate pass catchers with small Darren Sproles type of guys. Sonny Michelle is a gangster. Don't don't get this mistake. He finds his hole. He's a one cut guy, and he gets north and south really quick. Um, he does have the ability to uh, catch the ball. He didn't catch many this last season, and that's okay. But we know he has the ability to 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 do so. But as far as his run style, very very one cut, very get to my landmark, very punish anybody uh, that I see in my way. And here's another example of that. There's your one cut. Let's get north and south and whoop somebody, man. You know what I mean? I like the physical back, man. Um, you know, as a Cowboys fan, you know, you know, Zeke is my running back. And I like the fact he can wiggle, be fast, catch, do all that, da 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 boom boom boom. But I like how he can punish defenses over a over a period of time into submission. It's around the third or third or fourth quarter, guys are just quitting and they just don't want to tackle him. Uh, Sonny Michelle is very physical in that way as far as putting my helmet down, CTE, Shmee bring the fight to you, make you quit. Um, I really like that about Sonny Michelle, and that's a misconception. People think that he's small because he's past catchy guy and he was the other back uh, next to Nick Chubb, but uh, Sony can thump too. And another one of my favorite traits amongst running backs is those is those tough yard getters, man. Those fall forward guys. Those it's first and goal. We need we need positive yards. Let's go get a touchdown. Put your head down and go get it, man. Don't dance and go behind the line of scrimmage with your stuff. Don't think that you're faster than people. You're not Barry Sanders. You are Sony Michelle. Put your head down. Get tough yards. I love tough yards. Kind of like this. Those those fall forward guys. I love it. He's a solid blocker. Um. He's a little stronger than Carry On, I think, as a as a blocker. But I think Carry On gets denied because he he he's more willing and he's a little more smart about it. Remember that one tip I told y'all about earlier: get out the quarterback's way. This is what I mean by all up in the quarterback's lap. You're in the way, Carry On, and you and I Carry On, uh, Tony Michelle, and you kind of obscure his vision a little bit. Uh, step all the way up. Don't just stop right there. Step all the way up and meet that guy up here somewhere by the line of scrimmage and get out the way. Now, Sonny Michelle is a solid blocker. Uh, you know, he just got small little refinements that he needs to work on. But it's all good. Uh, at least he's not just getting out the way. And that is a positive. But uh, there's there, there's a little room to uh, to try to try to uh, improve your blocking or whatnot. But like George's role for Sonny Michelle was third down back type of guy, spell back type of guy, second running back type of guy. But I look at Sonny Michelle as a DeMarco Murray type dude. When, you know, when you watch, you know, DeMarco Murray in his in his glory days, in his cowboy days, I would say, he was a complete back. You know, he was a runner, blocker, catcher. Uh, DeMarco was a solid blocker until he figured it out. You know, he had solid effort, solid technique un- until a little bit of coaching made him better at it. Um, he was a solid catcher. He, it was It was more so I catch the ball, then I then I turn into this gangster of a runner again. And we know as a runner, DeMarco put his head down and he punished people. And he he had some speed to get away. He he got caught from behind sometimes. He wasn't a, a, a blazing athlete, um, but he he found the hole. One cut guy. He got there and he put his head down and he got positive yards. Uh, so I compare them in that way. Y'all can feel free to go in the comment section and disagree i normally don't do player comparisons but this was just on my mind today uh whatever let's move on to the last guy youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing on my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you but less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon Patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. And this is the most athletic of the of the three, uh, regardless of, of, you know, numbers and, you know, pro days and, and combines and all that. He's clearly the most athletic. I look at the film, fam, and look at this dude on the film. You can look at him and tell he moves different. This uh, King Cutter, uh, Ronald Jones, um, he has the burst. He has the speed. He has everything else. Um... Like he's not as physical as the other three guys, but we'll cross that road a little bit later. I got a point about that. But as far as uh movement, suddenness, quickness, 
It's Ronald Jones, man. Let's keep watching. Now, Sonny Michelle and Carry On Johnson, they're more one cutbacks. Ronald Jones cut as much as he damn want to. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> as one, right, just to kind of get out of trouble, we see clutter in our trenches. Let's try to bounce to the outside to see if we find some more some more room, some more space to navigate out there. So we're going to cut, right? We get to the outside, we see a little bit of trouble. Let's cut again to create a little more space. That one little cut right there create him so much more space. Those guys look like they're close together, but the difference in, in speed and the room that he created cutting they're they're not close at all so right he's gonna he's this dude's so fun to watch man look let me run it one time without me stopping it man but cut here get to the outside cut there to create more space then he's gonna get upfield he cuts a bunch but he, he's not cut just to be cut he cuts because he sees things before it happens right he sees trouble but he cuts to kind of navigate himself to be in a better position uh to finish the run i'll explain that a little bit later keep watching he got solid hands. I mean, you know, we we're we're talking about complete backs here. I think this is a great year for complete backs. Um, these runner blocker catcher guys, right? Uh, solid in the air. Pro he probably got the best hands of the three. I think Sonny Michelle's probably caught more passes than him. I don't know. Uh, number nerds, go in the comment section and tell me who caught more passes over their career. But just watching them, just looking at how they catch, I think Ronald Jones has the the better hands, in my opinion. So I expect Tampa Bay to be throwing the ball to him a bunch. Uh, <laughs> it's what I like about Ronald Jones. Like he's he's the more finesse back or whatever, but he's you know he has that mindset of I've been small my whole life and you ain't just about to punk me, right? Like he's not as strong as the other two, but he figures, and this is smart by him, he figures he can deliver a blow to help him block it. I try to teach my offensive lineman this, man. Like, you may not be strong, you know, but delivering the blow helps. You know what I mean? And Ronald Jones is very proactive in delivering the blow. He may not be able to hold that block very long, but he is delivering the blow. He is being first. He's being proactive. What I like the most is he's out the quarterback's way. He's way up by the line of scrimmage and out of the pocket. So you don't have to worry about any of these running backs in the blocking game or the catching game. And just another point on that, uh, how toughness helps his blocking. Toughness also helps with his power situation. Um, the other two running backs are clearly more powerful than him. But, you know, football coaches tell you all the time, just move your feet. And we'll figure this thing out. You just, you just look, 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 <laughs> look at this, man. I love Ronald Jones, man. Hey, bro, don't you ain't got to run people over. Just lean forward and keep running your feet in this way right here. And people will eventually fall off of you if they're not running their feet. I mean, you know, he's not gonna break tackles like this every time, but there are times to where he can shake people just by him constantly moving. You know, like he's, he he may or may not run people over in that way, but he can shake guys like this. I think that's that's uh, that's very interesting watching uh, how he gets rid of tacklers different than how the other two guys do. But um, that's just my observation. Let's keep watching. Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of don't even want to say that. OK, look, I'm just going to explain it and set it up. And I'm, gonna I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let y'all watch it. Right. He's going to get the ball. Go a direction, see the defense flowing. The cut's gonna save his life, create more space. He's just gonna out athlete people. Look at this. Look at this. I ain't gotta explain this. I, I ain't gotta explain this. What, am I, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Love Ronald Jones. Oh, we got a new view. We got a different view. Look at this. Look at look at the other view. Look at this. The whole defense is going this way. The fact that he can look back, feel it, sense it, and get there. Let's let me just let me just cut all the way back across the field. Remember this? How I how I break arm tackles by just moving my feet, by just keep pumping and running. Man, look, this small little cut there mm, to give him a little more space, change in directions. Look, man, I love Ronald Jones. When I watch him, he reminds me of Jamal Charles. Okay, I've been saying that for a while. Uh, I think I think some of the pundits stole that from me, but hey, man. Who knows? It's just a little low Vach Lombardi, whatever. But if you have an appreciation for this type of video, or if you're a fan of the team that has any of these corresponding running backs, the Lions, uh, the Patriots, the 
via Buccaneers. You just watching this channel for the very first time. I break down film just like this all the time. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the little bell next to it so you know when I drop random ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. If you liked it, hit that button. If you disliked it, sure. Uh, don't forget about the Patreon. It's more important than food, water, and ball get off. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. I've also got my um my uh Facebook page thing up and going like not my page and not my Facebook group but the Vash Lombardi film session page so I'll be dropping film on um, Facebook so y'all can you know share that with your friends and all that but anyway y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski and the Peace Weeskies Vash Lombardi peace